Alex here with another review. This time we're taking a look at the ThingScan 689BT, which is an advanced OBD2 bi-directional scanner, which has the ability to access service functions, programming, activating components, live data, and a lot more. And on this video, I'm gonna show you what you get with this unit, as well as walk you through the features of it, including the vehicle coverage list. That way you can confirm if your vehicle is supported by this scanner. And as always, I have placed a link in the description down below to this scanner in case you'd like to get one for yourself. First off, we get a semi-rigid case and inside of this case, we have the scanner and some accessories. Let's start with the scanner. And here's the 689BT with an eight inch touchscreen. And it also has bumpers on both the left and the right side, which is gonna be for drop protection. Now there is no protection on the top and the bottom. I almost wish it did wrap all the way around, but this just looks so nice and modern like that i kind of like that too now on the back of the scanner is a couple of interesting things the dongle while it does not fit inside of the scanner it does attach to the scanner so that means we're not gonna lose that and also there is an integrated kickstand and the kickstand is of some type of aluminum so it's not plastic so it feels nice and solid and moving to the top we got a power button full-size usb port and usb-c for power but now let's move over to the accessories and first off we get this f chassis adapter and also we get a power adapter that has different replacement face plates that way you can use this in different parts of the world and we also get this usb-c power cable and over here we get an rj45 network cable and also this little adapter which is usb 2.0 to a network cable and the first thing you'll notice is that the interface for this scanner is quite Quite different from other bi-directional scanners I reviewed before and I kind of like it I think especially if you're new to this style of scanners this type of interface I think is very friendly and pretty much walks you through what every function does the very first function we're gonna look at is the auto search function or what some people call auto VIN detect this is where the scanner is gonna automatically pull the information of the vehicle based on the VIN and we can do a couple things now we can run a full scan on the vehicle look at individual systems take a look at the service functions customize the settings or vehicle information let's look at a full scan of the vehicle And with the scan complete, we can see that there were faults found with the TPMS system. There is four of them. One of them found in the combination meter, one of them found in power source control, and another one found on the navigation system. And you can see that the rest of the systems checked out okay, as indicated by that green check mark. So out of 31 systems, seven DTCs were found, and we can do a couple things with it. We can create a report showing these issues, or we can choose to clear all the DTCs or rescan the vehicle. And here's what the report would look like it shows how many systems were scanned which ones passed and which ones had issues and what issues were found with them now we can do a couple of things with this report at this point we can choose to share it we can create a pdf or we can print it out we also have this icon right here that allows us to collapse the screen or to expand it but what's pretty neat is that if we are not familiar with one of those dtcs we can tap on that and it's gonna google that for us now if we did not need a full scan of the vehicle we can use system selection to go directly into a particular system for example if I wanted to go into the ECM I can select that and the scanner is gonna take us there where we can read the codes clear the codes read free stream data access the live data coming from the vehicle actuation tests and special functions and there's quite a bit that the scanner can access especially if your vehicle is equipped with some of these modules in this particular vehicle again is fair new so that is the reason why there are so many modules on it but now let's take a look at service function now here's what the scanner has detected that this vehicle supports as far as accessing service functions now inside of each one there could potentially be additional sub functions so there could be quite a bit of options depending on what your vehicle supports the customized setting option is somewhat similar to the service function in that the scanner is going to tell you which potential systems of the vehicle can be customized and just again like before inside of each one of these options there 
there could potentially be sub options of customization. Now, the second way to diagnose a vehicle is going to be to do a manual diagnosis. And here's where you can select what make of vehicle you have and then begin the diagnosis from there as opposed to using the VIN. Now, this is also a good time for me to show you the vehicle coverage list. And I'm going to scroll through this list, which is quite extensive. That way you can see if the make of your vehicle is on here as a supported make. You can also sort the list by region. You can look at America, European, Asian, and Chinese. Now, the third way to diagnose a vehicle is with standard OBD2 diagnostics. Now, this is gonna be convenient if you just want quick access to the OBD functions and diagnostics. And we are presented with the following choices. The very first one is to read the IM readiness. Now, this is normally gonna relate to emission systems and their status. And you can see on here that it'll tell you if they're ready or not. And it also gonna tell you if the system is not supported by your vehicle. Next up, let's take a look at read live data. And as you can see, the list is gonna be quite extensive, especially on newer vehicles. There is a ton of sensors and information that we can pull from. I'm gonna go ahead and select all. I'm gonna hit okay. And we can see that data coming from the vehicle. And let's look at something that we can actually move and kind of see that in real time. I'm gonna scroll down here. Let's look at the RPMs of the vehicle. You can see those right there. Now there is also this icon right here and that is gonna graph the data. Now there's also several icons in the bottom. The first one allows us to record the data. The next one to create a report out of it. And this one again is gonna graph the data or if we just wanted to sample the data to compare it against later readings. You can also graph up to four PDIs at the same time. And if I use the combine function, we can see all of them within the same graph. Now they are color coded on there and then we can see on here what color corresponds to which PID. We can also check for any fault codes. We know there are no fault codes on the ECM. If there was a fault code, we could potentially pull the freeze frame data for it. And we can also choose to erase the fault codes which will turn off the check engine light. And we can also look at the results of the onboard monitoring testing. Now on here we can see kind of a summary. It tells you the system and it tells you okay for as far as the value but if you really wanted to drill down you can tap on that particular one and see the actual results for it now i do want to show you what the safe sample option looks like here you're able to select what the vehicle is doing in this particular case the vehicle is idling and then the sampling has begun i'm gonna give it a couple of gas here to kind of simulate some testing conditions and then at this point when i hit stop you'll notice that the sampling shows the minimum and the maximum values that were obtained. And then we can choose to save that sample again so we can potentially compare it to future readings. Moving over to maintenance, this is where all the reset functions will be found. Now, again, this is quite interesting. When you tap on each one of the functions, not only do we get in here a little icon, it tells you in the bottom what the function is. And again, I think this is gonna help anybody who has not really had a lot of experience with bi-directional scan tools. Now, for those who have experience, you can tap on this icon right here and and that's gonna bring up all of them with a very short name as opposed to a full description. And I'll scroll down through here so you can see the list of services that are supported by the scanner. Now let's look at updates. Those are found under the upgrade tab. And again, this is where the scanner really shines. There are two types of updates, vehicle diagnostic software and maintenance software updates. Now this scanner actually includes lifetime updates without a subscription. Most scanners require you to subscribe and pay every year. Here, you don't have to pay for that. They're included in the scanner. Now you could individually start one update or if you just wanted to do all of them at the same time, you can use the upgrade icon and it's gonna be fully updated for you. Moving over to the last tab, here's where you'll find the settings. Now under settings, you can set the Wi-Fi and also you can enable these floating icons and you can sort of move them around the screen. The very first one, 
allows us to take a screenshot and the second one is a screen recorder on the next tab here's where you can enter your business information if you wanted to have that shown up on the reports and you can also adjust things like the brightness volume the language of this unit and i'll scroll through here so you can see how many languages are included in here in case you wanted to change it from the default one you can also change the unit of measure between metric and imperial and you can also enable one more floating icon which is a shortcut to the customer service and finally under maintain and about you have access to advanced features the next icon is for technical support if you wanted to contact tinkar and also they have included an electronic version of the user manual for this and the next icon is the obd fall code library now in here you can enter Enter a code and see what the code is for and this is helpful if you don't have access to the vehicle but if you have a code you can enter that and see the details of it and the next icon is a shortcut to the vehicle coverage list which I showed you earlier and also under module here's where you can expand these tools capabilities with a TPMS one a video scope an oscilloscope printer or a Bluetooth battery tester and the next one is related to technical support in case you wanted a remote technician to connect to your tablet remote and this last one right here gives you access to a Chrome browser. Now I'm going to look for a video so we can test the video and audio capabilities of this. And once again, with this icon, you can see all the options in one screen as opposed to having to touch each one separately with a full description. And you also may have noticed these three little lines. All they are, this is a drop down with all the shortcuts to everything that I showed you on the tool. In case you did not want to use this interface, you can just jump to those directly through here. So I would say that this is one of the easiest, if not the easiest, bi-directional scanner I have tested on the channel yet because of that interface what it describes to us what the function is going to do before we even open up the function it's like having somebody walking us through the tool for the first time which is going to be great for people who are new to bi-directional scanners now it is important to remember that the function behind the interface that explains what it is that function is still going to be an advanced function so learning how to read the service manual for the vehicle and learning how to use the procedure for either their testing, programming, or diagnosing the vehicle will still be required, but I really see this as a huge step in opening the door to new technicians and potential home mechanics who have never used a bi-directional scan tool before. And on the topic of being new to bi-directional scanners, perhaps you've been worried about having to pay every year for updates. The fact that this includes free updates, I think it makes it a no-brainer. Now, it is important to point out though that you want to be careful with the scanner because most scanners that I have tested, bi-directional scanners, have a case that goes and covers the whole thing 360 degrees as far as the perimeter and this one it only has protection for the sides so i could see this that on the bottom and on the top which is exposed as i showed you earlier if it happened to fall at the right place at the right angle could potentially get damaged very easily so remember i place a link in the description down below to this scanner in case you'd like to get one for yourself and if you guys have any other questions regarding this please put that in the comments also if you guys found any part of this video helpful make sure you hit the like button to support the channel and stay tuned as i have a lot more scanner reviews coming up thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one